Hello everyone. Finally, a uh, preview of the land. So guys, I'll just uh, walk you through and talk a little bit about what's gonna happen. Um, and I hope you can hear me while I do that because I'm putting the phone away from me that way. So I've slashed a bit of a perimeter around some of the areas that I wanna develop first. So this is a pretty big area of grass, probably about an acre already, and I would like to terrace that. And I've already cut one strip of grass that should mimic one of the terraces. So where the car is, there's a road and there'll be probably one other terrace in between here, and then there's another terrace there. And that'll probably continue down this way. Now the property extends in that direction that we're looking now for about 200 meters so most of the property is actually down that way and the first third to half used to be cleared and is now covered by raspberry and lantana so there's a lot of clearing to do so that's this stuff there it's like two meters high even the grass i'll just show you the grass is actually uh, up to my belt line really so there's quite a lot of work to do and luckily I've got a, a few pretty good tools that help me there okay so that's sort of the first part that I want to put fruit trees in and now we're gonna venture into the forest and I've made a bit of a loop that's the pipe for the submersible pump. So the forest is regrowth. It's mostly vegetated with uh, acacias, uh, wattles, and uh, hard milkwoods, and celery woods, and ivory basswoods, which are rainforest pioneers. And there's a lot of lantana here everywhere. Lantana is three meters higher places and guinea grass of course our favorite this, The brush cutter I've got is actually quite amazing with it. It's by the way battery powered and it lasts one, and, one hour and 15 minutes on one battery doing serious guinea grass work and it's actually quite impressive So This area that I've just walked around I would like to put a house on it's nicely secluded away from the road and the neighbors are far as well and then we're circling back to the front so well, actually what i'm showing you at the moment is really just one half of the property the other half is forested and i may even leave it or i might actually do some under, under planting of like cocoa or other shade trees but we'll see how we go with that that's sort of a further stage not quite yet and then I've slashed a bit more in here and I probably will have to clear this part because it's flat and I will put a shed here with solar panels and the solar panels will power the pump which sits in the bore and the bore is in fact right where the car is so we're just walking towards it already cut a few trees and left the stems about a meter high so I can pull them out later so and that's the top part of the property now there is a power line you can see it there now which cuts a corner off but that's fine so the bore is just here hidden under those shrubs so that's the the bore pump, uh, the, the, the bore hole, bar, pardon me, and it's an amazing uh, bore with very good bore water and also a lot of flow. So we're all set for all those ideas that can't wait to be realized finally. And that's my walk finished. And now I'm going to plant the coconuts. See you later, guys. <laughs> 